Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. It's been a very long time since I've done a proper video, and I've probably forgotten all the things that I usually say, so I suppose I'll just get straight to the point. If you've watched my recent live streams, you know I've been editing some drums that I recorded for a doom metal project I recently joined called Burnt Witch. I recorded several of the tracks over the weekend to prepare for their up-and-coming EP, and in doing so, I used Reaper's built-in big clock function. I was previously a huge fan of x rames region's clock because it allowed me to clearly see the current region and the upcoming region from across the room on my drums. One feature that I really liked about it is that it showed how many measures and beats until the next region. That really helped me a lot if I was playing along to a project that I wasn't totally familiar with, but I could see that region and be able to keep up with what section is coming next and kind of predict what I might need to play. Fast forward to now and Reaper has a built-in clock that somewhat replaces the functionality of x rames Let's take a look. Since this is something that I use frequently, I've got it in my toolbar, so I'll click on this region clock. I think I just kept region clock because that's the name that I knew it by when x rame had made his. As we can see in the title bar, this is called Big Clock Plus, and my right-click menu gives me access to several different features, but the one thing that's sorely missing is any type of progress meter that shows me when the next region is coming. I do have an option here for extended display, and as I look through these, we have wildcards that we can configure to get all sorts of different parameters to show up, but even as I looked under wildcards in the wildcard help file, I couldn't find any wildcard or combination of things that would show me how many beats and measures were in the current region, or how much time I might have until the next region. Now x frames regions clock did this fantastically, but the problem was once you scaled it to full screen, it could slow Reaper to a crawl. Now I'm not a programmer, so I don't understand exactly why, I just know that it did. So I did what any non-programmer would do, and I ended up using Google Gemini to try to figure out a way to get the features that I wanted without taking a hit on performance. So after a rigorous 20 to 30 minutes of trial and error, I'm proud to present Let's Talk About Reaper's Drummer Clock. The script is available through my Repack repository, and I'll leave a link in the description. This may be a very limited use case script, as it's mainly targeted towards drummers who are recording themselves, such as myself, and they may be recording from across the room with no access to the computer. For my setup, I've got two 27-inch monitors, but as I said, my drums are clear across the room behind me. I use Reaper's web interface to be able to control the transport as well as my in-ear mix using my cell phone, but it's really hard to peek at my cell phone to see what region I'm on and what region is coming up while drumming. Anyway, I've talked long enough, so let's take a look. We'll close out of this. Now, a couple of prerequisites. You do have to have Repack as well as SWS extension installed. There's probably some other stuff you have to have installed as well. But again, I'm not a programmer. I don't know what I'm talking about. I do know that the script uses re-imgui or however it's pronounced, but we'll figure all that out a bit later. Let's just see how this thing works. So I'll go to extensions, repack, import repositories, and I'll paste in the repository. Again, I'll leave that link in the description for you and press OK. Now my repository has been imported, so I'll go back to extensions, repack, and browse packages. In the Browse Packages menu, search for LTAR for Let's Talk About Reaper, and you'll see a single file called LTAR Drummer Clock. Right-click Drummer Clock and choose Install. Don't worry about that version number. And press Apply. And just like that, the script is installed. Now to run this, I'll go to Actions, Show Action List, and I'll search for LTAR. I've got several other scripts that are listed under that name, but those are local scripts. The one that I'm looking for in this case is LTAR Drummer Clock. And I'll double click this to run. And we've got a nice big dialog that's also scalable, so I can grab the bottom right corner and blow this up as large as I'd like to. The display shows the name of the package, the name of the current project or song or whatever you'd like to call it, the region that the playhead is currently in, the name of the next region, and it will show the amount of measures and beats until the next region. At the bottom we've got a progress meter that shows green until we get to a certain threshold at which point it will turn yellow with the final 10% switching to red just to give you a good visual that it's about to change regions. In the top right corner we have a very difficult to see gear icon that gives you a few user configurable options. We can turn the progress bar on or off. We can set it to use the colors that you have in your regions. We can set it to show the project name or not. Always on top is one that I like. And the last option is the warning flash timing. Now by default, when you've got four bars left, the interface should start to flash red to give you a bit of a clue that you're about to hit the next region. 
The other option is the yellow threshold for caution, which by default is set for 75%, and you can change that to either 50% or 85% through that region, and then the threshold for red. Now admittedly, one thing I have not tested this with is different time signatures, so there will likely be an update to this in the very near future, but for right now it works for the song that I need to track. So back in the interface, I'll play a little bit of this song that I've been working on and let you see how this operates. Now that's a bit of a long section, so let's find something a little bit shorter like this interlude. And you can see as I move the playhead, this immediately changes and it's pretty responsive. So with just a few bars left in this, let's play this and see how the clock responds. And that's pretty straightforward. Seems to work as advertised and it gets the job done for me. Feel free to grab the repository and check it out for yourself. And as I said, I'll continue to dig into this in the coming days and see if I can figure out how to fix the math when time signatures other than 4-4 are involved. The script is presented under an MIT license, so you're free to take it and modify it however you see fit. I just ask that you continue to leave credit to me and, of course, Gemini as the author. And I'd love to see what you guys and girls can do with it. Hopefully this is something that's beneficial to somebody other than just me. But even if it helps just me, it helps me, so I'm okay with it. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the buy me a coffee. This is normally where I say I like coffee, but it's late night here and I don't have any coffee. Patreon or Super Thanks links below. Visit us on Discord to engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. If anybody even noticed I was missing, doesn't matter at this point.